There are so many practices out there and one of them I am going to share with you on how to create a circle of people who inspire you, who aren't lazy and who push you to do better. But let's wait a second because that is not always possible to create this circle of amazing people who are rich and who are living their dream life. I know what it's like to maybe live at home or maybe live with people who you consider lazy or who don't have as much ambition as you and aren't striving towards their goals like you are. And if you are in a situation right now where the people around you maybe aren't inspiring you or you are around friends who are lazy, then this video is for you because I don't always think it's feasible to completely get a new friendship group just like that. So many of us think that our genetics create the way that we think and the way that we behave. So if you are a negative person, we think, oh, it might be from my genetics because my mum and dad are negative. When that is wrong, in fact, 80% of the behaviours that we adopt are from our environment, which we can take as an empowering fact because that means that we can control it. Our genetics we can't control, but our environment we have full control over. If you take responsibility for your environment, then you can change your life. For example, if you grew up eating a fast food and you say that your genetics aren't good because you are overweight and you are unhealthy, it's not necessarily your genetics that is that is causing you to be overweight or unhealthy, but it's the fact that you grew up in an environment that ate a lot of fast food. If you grew up in an, envir an environment of people who are negative, who complain a lot, who don't go after what they want and constantly think of excuses, then you might turn into a person who does the same. So it's really, really important to acknowledge your environment and to switch it up so that you can live an abundant life. Some lazy people just genuinely don't know any better. They don't know that they're being lazy. They just haven't been told that they can have more from their life and they can strive for more, right? So we can't always blame the people we're around and blame them for being lazy. But also some lazy people, they know it and they just don't want to act on it. And I know that you are not one of those people, but maybe you are finding yourself lying in bed longer than you actually need or not putting the amount of effort into the work that you actually want to do because the people around you are doing the same. Laziness is like a disease. It's like when somebody has a cold and they cough, you get that. That is what I feel about laziness. And that's why it's really important to follow the tips that I'm share sharing in this video and remember that you don't have to be a lazy person just because you are around lazy people. You are someone who cares about your life, you are someone who cares about your health and your productivity, where you are going, you want to focus and you are not lazy even though you prioritise rest because um, those are two very, very different things. When it comes to productivity specifically, we get a lot of energy from other people. We get a lot of energy from people around us and that's why it can be challenging to still be productive while you're surrounded by lazy people. So the first thing is to create a schedule and actually stick to this schedule. Whether you have a roommate who doesn't stick to the schedule, a family member who doesn't stick to the schedule, I don't care. I want you to mind your own business, set yourself a schedule and stick to that. Not only will that make you more productive depending on the schedule you set yourself, but it will also build your self-confidence because you will create something and you will take action on it and stick to that action. I have a weekly planner down below that's completely free that's made on Notion and that is what I plan my weeks with and that has helped me be so much more productive. I have been using it for maybe like two years now which is absolutely ridiculous so it's really cool that I have all of my weeks for the, from the past two years to actually look back on but if you struggle to create a schedule then, then you can try Notion and you can also try a Google Calendar and try time blocking your days. Time block your days hour by hour, 30 minute by 30 minute and stick to that schedule. Don't worry about what other people are doing but stick to your own schedule and your own life. This is the key when it comes to being productive and going on your own path. Yes, you might have to rely on other people to get somewhere because maybe you're going somewhere with someone or they're giving you a lift to go somewhere and then you have to spend time with that person, etc, etc. But what you can control is the thoughts and feelings you have inside. You can't control their actions, you can't control what they do. So all you can control is how you react and how you feel inside. So create your schedule and focus on what is in your control whilst also understanding that things might change and that's okay, it's just a part of life. But how you adapt to that change and how you don't get stressed, 
that's the most important thing to keep you on track towards your goals. Consume content from people who are not lazy. The biggest hack to my growth, I genuinely think is podcasts because when I was living at home and when I was trying to run my own business, nobody else was telling me that I can do it. Nobody else was like, speaking wisdom into my ears, but the podcast that I was listening to. I listened to business owners being interviewed. I got hooked onto a one person and then I searched them in Spotify and listened to all of their interviews. I still do it to this day. I went on such an Ali Abdal spree of just searching Ali Abdal on every platform and listening to every interview that he has been in because he his journey is so inspiring. The more that I listen to people like that, the more I listen to people who inspire me, the more inspired I get and the more productive I am because I believe that it's possible. So if you don't have those people around you physically, create those people virtually. This is how we can use social media to our advantage and not to our detriment. Learn how to optimize yourself. And by this, I mean through supplements, I mean through regimes, I mean through routines. What can you do that optimizes yourself? This comes from a lot of self-awareness as well and knowing yourself, but for example, I take mushrooms, I take lion's mane, I take chaga, I have been trialing different supplements to understand how I can optimize my time and also testing different schedules throughout the day. When am I most productive and how can I get the most out of my time? So from 7 a.m. to 12, I'm usually my most productive. So I try to communicate with the people around me not to talk to me or to say, you know, this is when I am working, this is my focus block, if you need me, call me because you won't be able to text me because I won't see anything, I'm on do not disturb. I can put these down now, but th these are amazing by the way. So go on an optimizing journey and learn how to optimize yourself. I used to think that supplements and hacks were cheating, but they're not cheating, they're actually optimizers. And the more that you can trial and test different productivity techniques, like the Pomodoro technique, I have lots of videos on productivity and things like that. The more that you can test those, the more that you can test supplements, the more that you can test routines, the more that you will know yourself and learn to be productive in any environment that you are in. Because the goal is to be able to focus wherever you are. So if you are traveling, if you are around people who bring you down, if you are at home, if you are wherever you are that doesn't feel like you can be your most optimal self, how can you still get stuff done and how can you still perform at your best you can also create this environment through music i listen to music when i want to focus and when i want to write so i have like a focus playlist that spotify has just created for me i also have my brother on youtube that i listen to i will link it here this is an amazing playlist for focusing and writing i don't know that kind of music really gets me into flow so if i can have that in any environment that i'm in if i'm at a busy cafe it's if i'm on at an airport, if I'm on a plane, etc. If I can listen to that, then I can usually focus. And there have been so many studies where sound actually affects your feelings. So sound can actually affect how productive you are. Instead of just opening up your laptop and your brain going, okay, we're gonna be productive now because that doesn't necessarily happen because on your laptop, you can also be very distracted by YouTube, by Instagram, all of these different things, same with your phone. But if you have a certain sound that you keep listening to and every time you are writing, the same with smell, if you can smell something every time you are writing and getting into flow state or drinking something or taking something, if you have that trigger, you can set yourself up to be productive wherever you want. And I, and I have to mention finding friends who are not lazy and finding environments who are not lazy. Believe that you actually can make new friends and then the process will become a whole lot easier. I have left some journal prompts in the description below to help you analyze your social circle. I did this not long ago when I was finding myself feeling a bit like, ooh, do I need to analyze this? Do I need to assess? Do I need to make some changes in my social circle because I'm not performing at my best? So definitely try those journal prompts if you feel like your social circle and if your environment could use an upgrade and believe that you can find friends who are better than you, who are not lazy, who, who are ambitious and who have all the things that you want in a friend because they are out there and the process of making friends becomes a whole lot harder when you believe it's harder, trust me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to my newsletter. The journal prompts are below and so is my weekly planner. I will see you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe because I share productivity tips, high performing habits and so many good things all around productivity and 
realizing your potential and then freaking becoming your potential. Have a beautiful day, week, month, life. Bye.